Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We are so delighted to have a really, really special morning for you. Um, I'm welcoming you on behalf of Art to Action and Pangea World Theater. And this is our National Institute for Directing and Ensemble Creation Virtual Weekend. Today we have something special. It's a morning movement with Sandy Augustine. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about Sandy. Um, she is, has many, many, many accomplishments. Uh, she has an ex extensive history of arts, of uh, social and racial justice and leadership. She is a native Minnesotan. Uh, she lives here and she's an accomplished dancer, choreographer, mover, administrator, visionary. She's been part of many, many institutions in the Twin Cities, such as Intermedia Arts. Uh, she's a freelance artist. She's been, she's done, and she's worked with us at Pangea World Theatre as well. But beyond everything, Sandy is a very, very close friend whom I've known for 25 years. And you can read all of her accomplishments in the bio, but what, what I really um, want to stress is that she is a brilliant artist, a brilliant human being, uh, just a deep, deep well of knowledge. She is, um, she's, she's done, she's been a special part of our lives for the last 25 years. And, and don't be fooled by her knowledge, her deep knowledge and her, um, uh, and, and all the accomplishments that she has. She has a deep well of mischief and she's a very, very playful. So you're in for a really big treat today. And I'd love to present to you my friend, Sandy Augustine for Morning Movement. <laughs> Thank you for that, Mina. Thank you again, Art to Action and Pangea World Theater. Um, isn't it always curious how someone's going to uh, introduce you and what they're gonna say? You know, I kind of lean in and I, I think, uh, are, you talking, are you talking about me? So welcome everybody to this movement session. Um, it's about an hour long. Uh, I'm really happy to be here and I, um, I welcome you, I welcome all of us to turn on our cameras mostly so that we could see if we were sitting in the same room, right, uh, we don't have that luxury these days. I'd love to just yay, hey, see where you are, you're inside, you're outside, um, you got some sunlight, great, 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 great to see you friends. Woohoo! Near and far. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So great to see you all. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to, we're going to start seated and then we'll move down to the ground if that feels comfortable and right for your body. Um, <clears throat> and so I encourage you to, yes, of course, take care of your bodies right now. We'll do a, a quick two minute with the bowl just to center. So wherever you are, uh, if you need something to reference, if you need a chair, I'm sitting in a chair. If you need something to support your back, um, feet on the ground and do just acknowledge what ground, what sovereign ground you are on from whatever perspective in the, in the globe that you're calling in from. So let's just acknowledge that. And so we're gonna take three deep breaths and inhale with our nose and an exhale with our mouths. And then um, an invitation to just uh, welcome presence into the space, okay? So finding a position, you can close your eyes if that feels comfortable, if that feels safe or just look down for now. You don't need to look at me, inhaling in. And a nice deep exhale out, filling your belly, pulse. Inhaling in through your nose. And an exhale in through your mouth. More like that. Just inviting your body and your mind to stay present for the next 55 minutes or so.
Inhale in, exhale out. And then just slowly, slowly blink your eyes open. We're gonna stay here for a moment. Um, I also invite you to have some water nearby as well if you need it. Again, take care of yourself. And again, uh, as much as you are comfortable, uh, I welcome you all, us all to stay online. Um, it is a little funky pixeled, but it is still building community and I welcome it. I welcome you to be here, thank you. So um, for starters, we're just going to start taking a, a circle we're gonna to try to circle some joints here, just seated where we are. We're gonna start circling our jaws from the top down. So just loosening things up. Uh, holding any tension, try not to, if it sticks, try to circumvent, okay? Even our tongue in our mouth a little bit, okay? All right, and then we're gonna just Stretch an ear to a shoulder and a chin to the chest and to the other side. We're just trying to stay horizontal, keeping our shoulders on, a, on the horizon while our, our head just comes round and then back to center and lift it up with the breath. And then exhale down, exhale down, chin to chest. Lift it up with an inhale and let it stretch, not drop, through the center to the other side and back up, okay? <clears throat> Got my hair caught, trying to figure out how to keep it so it's gonna fall a little bit. It's too short to tie up. Okay, so now we're gonna drop or reach over, not drop, and now we're gonna just turn our chin into the shoulder and get that stretch in the back of our neck, right? If uh, if you don't get a massage by anyone else today, take the advantage. Take the, take this as that self massage. Roll it through the center and just to the chin to the other shoulder. If you um if you catch yourself holding your breath, holding your your tummy in. Your solar plexus, invite it to relax, okay? I know I'm holding mine a lot these days, okay? And then really back up. And um, an easy shoulder walk. Um, imagining that you have a marker or a nice charcoal pencil and you're drawing circles on either side, walking those shoulders back in a circle Yep. And then reverse the circle. See if you can make the same circle drawing in space that you made the other direction. Okay, and then lift them up. And then exhale down. Inhale in. Exhale down. Inhale in. And exhale down, okay? So now let's just push feet into the ground. I'm gonna stand us up. We're gonna stand up. If you were sitting in a chair, you can move this to the side. And if you need it for reference later on, to hold on, to hold steady, feel free to use it. I'm gonna move back a little bit, all right? So now we're gonna take, we're just gonna keep moving these circles and we're gonna circle our elbows. Thumbs up if you can hear me. Can everybody hear me? Can I see a thumbs up? Can you hear me okay? All right, great. Uh, grace with ourselves in this uh, virtual reality, virtual platform. So big circles again. Uh, you can loosen up the hips a little bit if you wanna sway and really be generous with them. And then reverse and reverse and reverse and reverse and reverse and reverse and reverse. And reverse. And reverse. Now we're going to swing back, swim your whole arm, as much range of motion as you've got in the space that you've got, right? So consider this. Let's keep doing this while I jabber on. 
we're just trying to, um, right now we're gonna build up more spaciousness for ourselves so that we are building up a little more spaciousness to be a little more resilient, right? This is part of our preparedness kit. So we're gonna swim forward, swim forward, swim forward, swim forward. Now just bring your arms down. Hopefully you could feel uh, your chest warming up a little bit. We're moving it down into our hips, into our hips. Knees are gonna be slightly on the diagonal right? Okay. And then we're going to bring it over to one side. Okay. Let's try to keep, instead of swinging our hips out either way, we're going to try to keep them straight underneath us and just, and just meld over, slide the knee. Knee is right over the toe. We're going to take that opposite arm, the straight leg, and we're going to reach as far as we can over. Nice big C, showing off your armpits this morning. So we're not in a dive, but we're really showing off. Deep breath in, exhale, see if you could get a little more stretch and bring it through the center, round over a big beach ball. You're gonna bend both knees as you come around. Other side, bends, long side, opposite, stretch using this supporting elbow. We have so many supports that we can use, right? To reference if we need them. Inhale in, lift it up a little bit, and then ask your body to go a little bit further. Increase your sphere, come through the center, round it over and lift it up. Stretch the legs up, bring your feet together, um, actually not uh, totally closed, but about shoulder width away. And we're gonna start just a little circle around the island, right? Circle around the island. Knees are easy. The knees are pliable. The feet stay on the ground. They can pedal a little bit if they need to, to get yourself around. This morning, let's just imagine that we are in a, um, an almond butter jar, unless you're allergic. Um, and then swing it around. You're trying to scrape all the corners equally, all the way around the island, all the way around the island. We're warming up our back, getting a little work in the quad, a little work in the bum. In fact, um, pat your pumpkins a little bit here. Pat your pumpkins, get some blood moving. We're sitting on them too much, aren't we? And then reverse, if these really were pumpkins, they'd be, I don't know, mine would be sort of flat on one side right now. They need a little love, okay? And then pat, turn that into a pad all the way down, all the way on the inside, on your feet, all the way up. Try not to miss anything, don't miss any spots. Maybe both hands on one leg, up and down, be gentle, not too hard. If you need to rub a little bit, if you need to squeeze, right? Get that circulation, remind yourself, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Love it all that this morning or this afternoon, wherever you are. Okay, up, top of the head, nice. Stimulate those nerve endings all the way. And maybe a little bit on the jaw, the throat, clavicle. Uh, give yourself an ah. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Rub it out. I'm going to take my top off because now I'm already warm. Okay. All right, so now we're going to tip my camera up. Okay, so now we're going to reach. Right, we're going to reach really, really tall. Feet are about a little wider than hip width apart. And I'm just going to reach up to the ceiling. I'm going to reach as high as I possibly can. And I'm going to look for something on that top shelf. Look for it, reach it, feel that everything down the side stretching. All right, we're going to reach up, 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 and then try the other arm. You know how we do that? We try, if we can't get it, we try the other arm, like all of a sudden, maybe this one's longer. Inhale and keep your Tummy engaged, not holding, but so you're not sticking your seat too far out. 
reach again with the first arm and then again with the second one and this time both arms maybe you have it it's a bucket and very slowly this bucket has some warm steam that's going to roll on the top of your head you're going to roll down to the ground so you got it it's starting with your head and neck knees are easy you're going to roll down the spine down 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 and then just stay there for a second take a deep breath in exhale see if you could stretch a little bit further down and then press your heels and your toes into the ground and with your knees slightly bent you're going to roll up as though you've got a giant zipper from your tailbone up rolling up 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 and again now with a little rhythm we're going to do a reach and a reach higher reach both hands roll it down and uh, down and uh, down beautiful down stay here and uh, swing if you want two three roll it up now and press down roll up roll up uh, again this should feel good and a stretch and a stretch let me watch you stretch and a stretch both hands roll down top of the head neck shoulders down easy knees stay there and stretch or swing a little bit make sure you're breathing come back up 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 two more times a reach a reach a little higher reach so you feel your sides up and pull joy down pull the sun down 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 and then stretch and swing if you want make sure you are breathing push down up rolling up last one here we go give it all you got stretch 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 both hand come down two three four and stretch there two three four roll it up two three and a uh, four take a moment to just feel your feet on the floor come to a neutral body it's still engaged feel your motor solar plexus vagus nerve hopefully is calming Send it a little breath, inhale in, windpipe all the way down, easy knees, inhale in, feel your, your motor going. We're going to roll down and now we're going to just stretch a little bit in our hamstrings. So we're going to take that roll down, roll down, roll down, roll down, and we're just going to take turns on our knees, kind of walking our knees a little bit so we feel hamstrings and we feel our Achilles, just a, a titch. While your head is relaxed down, not pulling up, your head is hanging a little bit, like raggedy androgynous. Andy or Andy. Okay. All right, while you're there, put your hands on your knees. Hands on your knees, and we'll do a little cat cow in this position. Okay, inhale in. We're going to let our seat come up and we're going to look up, smell the roses, smell the air, take it all in. And then we're going to exhale and blow a big balloon underneath, tuck the tail, tuck the head. Knees stay bent. Inhale in underneath. You're letting a marble roll to the middle of your back. Exhale, let it roll off your back, tail tucks, chin tucks. Two more, inhale in, inhale in and exhale. One more, inhale in, taking care of your bodies and an exhale out. Okay, this time we're gonna to come to a flat back and we're just gonna reach through the runner's lunge. We're gonna reach one leg Parallel feet, like you have skis on, we're parallel, not turned out in the back. We're not gonna to try to open up or get too wide. This is for you. These stretches are for you. So wherever that balance is, wherever you feel like you have a stretch, 
Okay, one side, remember every day we come to movement, our bodies are a little different. So maybe there's more tightness on one side. So we're gonna lean into the front bent knee, which is 90 degrees down into our ankle, right? Straight down. Oops. It's not over extended over the toes. It's not back here, it's 90 degrees, perpendicular to the floor, okay? So we're getting a nice stretch. Inhale in. Relax your shoulders so they're not pulling up, everybody. See if you could slide your shoulder blades down your back. And maybe, um, I'm Filipino, we iron a lot. Imagine an ironing board resting on your back. All right, it's just leaning on your back. Inhaling in, exhaling out. Now, two versions, three versions maybe. If you want, you need a chair to reference. We're gonna do a, a twist. Or you could keep this hand, opposing hand, opposing hand on your knee while we reach back. If you have a stretch, you go all the way down to the floor and you can stretch up, all right? Inhaling in before we start, right? Exhaling with a twist. So what if you fall off balance? So what? So what if you shake a little bit? Right? We're expanding our own sphere. Inhale in. Exhale. See if you can get a little more twist, a little more reach. Steady on those feet. Feeling it maybe in your hip. Nice Achilles stretch in that back extended leg. Okay, now that back extended arm, imagine that you have a paintbrush in it. You're gonna paint up over the ceiling. And again, you're either gonna come down, you're going to schlizzle this foot back. It's a technical term. You're gonna schlizzle it back and raise the heel. Okay, and do a nice long stretch. Or you're going to go down to your knee and extend so you're opening up in this flexor extender area in that straight leg, or are you gonna go down to the ground? Runner's lunge, yeah, yep. Kitchen counter, perfect, beautiful. Windowsill, non-moving dog or animal, whatever you got. Okay, now walk that foot back up to the other leg. Push down into the heels and roll your body up. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Shake what your mama gave you, shake it out, okay? Switch legs, so now the leg that was forward is gonna be back. And we're gonna start out with that back heel on the floor, not up yet, okay? This is for the Achilles back here. Yours truly, COVID survivor, Survived COVID, then broke my foot. So stretching is really great. So happy I can do it. So now we're here, perpendicular front knee to the floor. Ironing board is on our back. No one's ironing right now. Inhaling in, shoulder blades are sliding down the back and I'm feeling lifted in the front, off the top of my head. Nice breath. Exhale out, and we're gonna twist. So again, whatever's comfortable. This opposite hand is on the front leg, and we're stretching back, or it's on the floor, and we're stretching up, or it's on that kitchen counter, and we're just using it to reference, to balance here. Easy, easy, easy. Try not to bounce, right? Tell the, ask the muscles, be here. And then when I exhale, can you be there? Can you be a little more generous? Or just hold there if this stretch feels really good. Okay. Inhale in. Now we're going to schlizzle that back foot back. We're going to extend, lift the heel up. We're going down into a runner's lunge. Now opening up and the hip flexor on the other side, this long leg, right? Still perpendicular in the front. Okay, so here we're either again, we're either down and reaching up, back, 
or we're again, we're using the, whoops. <laughs> we're using the counter, the chairs, reference. Watch the shoulders, Shh, right? Whatever you need, right? Nobody's grading, just for you. Are you holding your breath? Are you feeling like being generous with your breath too? Okay, you got that back uh, arm. It's got the paintbrush in it. Bring it up and over, slizzle down. Okay. And walk that back foot forward. And wiggle it out, wiggle it all the way up. And shake it out. And find your way down. You can, you can roll down and over. Use your hands, come down to the floor. I'm gonna move me down to the floor. Okay. Can I get a thumbs up? How y'all doing? Some of you, I can't see. In the chat, hopefully yeah. Blah, blah, blah about me. Okay, it's all about you, really. Okay, so now we're gonna be um, still thinking about this nice long column. I'm wearing shoes just because I'm at Still recovering foot, it feels a little bit better. There's a little more support, but if you're barefoot or stocking footed, that's great. Okay, so now we're, we're gonna flex and then now we're just gonna pedal. Pedal, 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 pedal. Try not to uh, release in the lower back. We're gonna try to stay upright, okay? If this is too tight to stay upright, bend the knees ever so slightly and keep them just slightly bent versus trying to go from straight. So just be generous. We're working the ankles a little bit here. We're gonna stretch the back. Eventually we're gonna go down, but right now we're just here for a little while, okay? So right now, take a leg. Hopefully it's yours and not somebody else's. <laughs> so early in the morning. Okay, we're gonna stay glued, chest, to thigh and you can hold underneath right now you're gonna we're gonna inch this is the good foot okay we're just gonna try to inch a little forward to come forward staying glued chest to thigh okay when it feels like I'm separating that's where you stop so where are you at today you're gonna stop and you're gonna let go and just be here for a moment Okay. <clears throat> All right. Actually, let's do this. Okay. And we're going to stay here for a moment and then we're going to keep the chest here and we're going to straighten the leg. Okay. Look, man, no hands. Okay. And then I'm going to flex my feet. I'm going to keep my chest where it's at. You should feel a little stretch, right? A little tight. You might want to bite somebody right here. Ah. This tight. Okay. Inhale in, flex the toes, point the toes, release the head, and just hang over. Don't bounce again, just nice breath. If you need a little um, more resilience, bend your knees a little bit. Give yourself a little break. It doesn't need to be so tight. Shouldn't hurt, right? We're just waking everything up. Inhale in. As you exhale, roll yourself up. Again, somebody's um, zipping up a giant zipper from the lower vertebra all the way to the top, okay? And then just feel what it feels like to be centered over your sits bones, your pelvis, okay? Other side, one side may be tighter than the other, right? So we're just here to start. We're not, we're not hiking the, the leg, we're just cuddling, we're cuddling. Okay, so now we're gonna walk the toes, inchworm the toes. This is really good. If you've had a broken fifth metatarsal, just saying. Okay, you get to that spot where, whoo, that's enough right now. I'm gonna detach if I go any further, right? So this is where I pause, take a breath. Even though I'm yapping away, you guys keep breathing, right? Y'all keep breathing. Okay, stay there. Now push through the heel, extend, Bring both toes up. Ay, 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 ay. 
really flex them back and then point them forward. Inhale, exhale down. Okay, let them wiggle in and out. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Okay, now <clears throat> whatever is um, comfortable here, bringing the bottoms of the feet together. Okay, there are uh, long side of your foot, that fifth metatarsal, that pinky toe is on the floor. Okay, it's on the floor. We're not pulling up on our feet. Nope, we're gonna gently put our hands on our ankles and maybe if anything, we're just gonna gently press down on our elbows on our knees just to open up the hip sockets a little bit with our breath. Um, and this one, you know, it, it, they don't have to be close. They could be a little further away, right? Depending, find your own stretch, okay? All right, so the feet are in this position now. We're just gonna do some, some, some more circles, <clears throat> all right? So hands right under the knees, and I just want you to round your back. You're in an easy chair, chin to chest, rounding, but you're supporting. You're not gonna fall all the way back because your hands are here and hooked on your knees. And then again, zip it up, two, three, exhale down. Zip it up, inhale. Couple of these. Exhale. Let me see you do it. Sweet. And zip up. Gentle. Beautiful. Three. And down. Two. Three. And up. Back up. Two. Three. Okay, a couple things just to be. Um, uh, let's try not to. Punch the chest forward or uh, overactivate the shoulders. Whew. If I was that way, I want to like deactivate them a little bit. So this is in my back, right? Undulating the back a little bit. Okay, so we've got that movement down and up, right? We'll do that twice. Take one of your arms again, one of your arms, that's somebody else, and scoop. I want you to scoop really far out and come on up and over and close the lid of the walk. Show off your armpit again. Okay, so let's watch our shoulders so they're not pulling up, so that we're being generous in the space between our shoulder and our ear and our neck. We're not crimping that. And this knee isn't popping up, it's also stretching away from the stretch. Inhale in. Exhale, open the walk. Other side, scoop. Up and over. Generous space between the shoulder and the ear. Fan off your armpit. How often during the day do you get to show off your armpit? Not often, perhaps. Okay, this time we're gonna lift it up. And find what, Find where that steady is, okay? Now without holding here in the knees. We're gonna do this in threes. One, two, three, just follow and squeeze down, round the ball, two, three, zip it back up, one, three, inhaling on that up and exhaling on the down. Lift it up, scooping right or scooping left, one, Two, three, exhale. Shh. Lift it up, inhale, and settle. Shh. Scoop the other side, inhale, exhale. Lift it up, inhale, and settle. Okay, uh, now right here, just feel your wings opening up. We're not uh, hyperextending anywhere. There's just a gentle flow of energy all the way through. Finding where center is, right? Sometimes um, I can overshoot it. Just find it on your sits bones, okay? Oftentimes you might feel a little grip in those hip flexors if we're a little bit past it or hanging out, 
Okay. All right, so we're here. All right, and just holding steady here. Inhaling in, and now we're gonna roll. Roll yourselves down to your backs, onto your mat or your towel or your whatever you have. We're gonna roll down. Okay, and we're gonna extend one leg, and we're gonna cuddle the other leg, right? We're gonna cuddle it. Not coddle, but cuddle, cuddle. So one side, head and shoulders are relaxed. I think I could talk you through this, yeah? You're on your back, okay? That uh, long leg isn't doing anything spectacular, okay? No limelight on that leg. Inhaling in. Um, if you have knee issues, you can hang on underneath your knee and just hold your thigh, right? Be gentle on your knees. And feel uh, that you're in one long line, all right? So just listen so that you've got a nice airway that's nice and long. Inhaling in. Exhale. You're going to put the opposite hand on the top of that knee, extend the same side arm out to your side, shoulder level, and just get a nice twist. All the way across. Right? All the way across. Right angle. Okay. So I'm trying to reach my opposite shoulder to the op to that same side knee. Sorry. Same side shoulder. Same side knee that's twisting away from the shoulder. Let's see if they could both touch the ground. If they can't both touch, then I want you to take that extended arm and bend it in. So the center moves in a little closer to your shoulder, to the midline of your body. Three breaths here. See if you can release your lower back so your hips not hiking up. Exhaling out. Two more, inhale in, exhale out, inhale in, and exhale out. Imagine you have uh, little magnets that are gonna pull your lower back back to the ground, inhale in, exhale, and you roll back to the ground and extend that leg that you had bent both legs are straight and you're just going to roll them in and out again and relax them. They're just going to, maybe they do a little jiggle. Okay. I wish mine didn't jiggle so much. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long coronavirus time. Okay. Uh -huh. Other leg. Other leg. Your leg still, but the other side. Nice, easy shoulders. Nice, easy um, esophagus. Your whole, your air tube your lungs are expanded on the ground, okay? So just feel that for a minute. Your shoulders aren't hiking up just to hang onto that leg, right? Sometimes we need, we might need a towel, we might need a strap, okay? We're gonna take that opposite hand on top of the knee. We're gonna guide it to the floor ever so gently. See what kind of stretch we have on the other side. Shh. Open chest. If that extended arm, uh, if the shoulder's uh, having a hard time staying down, we're going to bend the el bend at the elbow and put the hand on the shoulder. Right. Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, good, good, good. Good adjustments. Right? If it's too um, cumbersome, if you're, if you're trying to get a breath, it might mean that we're overstretched. So you just bring it in closer to center. Okay. Inhale in, exhale, magnets lower back to the floor, and extend both legs and in and out and in and out, in and out. Okay, now you can bend one, bend both knees just to get here. Feel for a moment the imprint of your lower back on the floor. Okay, uh, you're not necessarily tilting your pelvis and making it super intentional because naturally we should have a little curve there, but you're feeling that on the floor, okay? All right, so while you've got, um, 
there are versions of this too, right? Depending on where we're at in our flexibility and in the day. Okay. So you can either keep your supporting leg bent, one leg bent while you work this one straight up in the air, or if you've got it, you could straighten it, but depends on what coast you're on, I suppose. I don't know. All right, so we've got our leg up in the air, this leg up. My legs are longer than I give them credit for. Okay, so we're gonna flex and extend. Flex everything, knee, ankle, foot, hip, and extend all the way up. Flex, and imagine that your, uh, your leg is in a, a tube, a nice wide tube. So it's not dropping to the side, it's staying parallel and up and flex and up. Head and shoulders are staying nicely relaxed on the floor. Flex and up and flex and up. Now circling, again, you're in a jar of something non-allergenic. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Flex the heel, stretch it up if you need to hang on to it. Try not to hyperextend in the knee, meaning lock the knee. Okay, now we're gonna open it up and we're gonna crisscross it. We're gonna cross it on our knee. Okay, and just uh, open up the hip sockets. Piriformis stretch, right? All the way through up to the sciatic. So now we're in this four and we're gonna lift I feel like I'm hip hopping today. Okay, so now we're gonna hip lift this leg off the floor and we're gonna to try to open up that opposite knee a little bit more. So yeah, and you can hang on to it. Hang on to that uh, supporting leg while the top leg that has the ankle on the knee is just gently pressing away from your shoulders. Feel it, let out a sound, inhale in, ah, ah, ah. 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 right, okay, inhale in, wiggle your toes a little bit, bring your knees together, let them come together like a little twist, and now you're just going to go opposite, let those both knees come to one side. Relax that piriformis and that hip. They, they get really weak, right? These uh, glute muscles at our lower back because we're sitting so much. Let's remember them. Okay, bring them back up. Both feet on the floor. Just pedal for a minute. Pedal, 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 pedal. Okay, other leg. Straight up in the air. And we... Flex it and reach it. Flex and reach. And we're in this open column here. Same column and stretch, flex and stretch and flex and stretch and circle to the best of your abilities. There's probably that one spot on the circle that your ankle wants to jump over. If those muscles might be a little tight and reverse it and then flex it up. Maybe give it a little nice stretch. Inhale in, exhale, bring that ankle down onto the knee, let that other knee come on up and hang on. Piriformis stretch on the other side. Um, take a look down and see where your hips are. Make sure they're not twisting up towards you. Okay, you wanna keep them as square as possible to your hips. Okay. Still breathing. Inhale in, give it a sigh. Ah, 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 ah. Sweet. Okay, inhale in. Exhale it out. Ah. Oh, that must have felt really good because I'm still hearing it. Okay. And pedal, pedal, pedal. Toes down, toes down, toes down, toes down. Both feet on the ground. Just feel what that feels like for a second. Now your arms are gonna be down alongside your hips. Down here, right? 
Thank you. Thank you for the time. All right, we're going to do a really gentle um, bridging. We're going to tuck now. Now we're really going to imprint that lower back and we're going to keep going up to mid back, not higher right now. So just so we get a nice stretch across the front into the quads. Um, make sure that your feet are planted, big toe, little toe, heel, big toe, little toe, heel. You're not rocking up on any of the other parts of your feet right now. Just feel those three points and you're lifting up, little contraction in the tush and open space here, inhale in, exhale, roll it down nice and gently like uh, one of those um, segmented little snakes. Okay, inhale in, blow the air out your tailbone, curl it in, roll, two, three, four, not too high, unless you've got the stretch, that's up to you and your body. Otherwise, we're just holding here, we're feeling this openness in our hip flexors, inhale in, extend them open, 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 seat feels nice and tight. You can pat the pumpkins if you need to. There they are. Why not? Again, I, I'm not, you know, no one else is, so I might as well, right? Okay, boom. All right, inhale in and roll it all the way down. Extend the legs, extend the arms down. We're just gonna be in a nice corpse pose and you can just listen to me. You don't have to look. Right now you're, whole windpipe is nice and long and you're feeling it. You don't have to do anything. Gravity's got you here. Inhaling in, exhaling it out. We're going to do a really quick, gentle, dimming the lights inside, right? We're gonna go from the top of the head down. Make sure we're just dimming. You're not moving anything while you're there unless you realize it's in the wrong position. And the wrong position would just be your head's tilted. It, you just want everything nice in one long, simple, easy, elegant line. Inhaling in, top of the head, temples, eyebrows, ears, jaw. Dim the lights a little bit. Shoulders, elbows. What's touching the ground? What's being supported right now? Where do you feel air flowing around your skin? Feel safe, supported, and expansive. Your chest, your rib cage. Deep breath in through the nose. Belly fills up. Exhale. Your hip sockets, your thighs, your knees. shins, your calves, your ankles, your toes, nice and dim. Lights aren't totally out. There's still activation. There's still something happening with those lungs and that heart. Inhaling in, exhaling out. Take a moment and start activating. Just wiggle those digits, metatarsals, metacarpal, little toes, little fingers. Can you round your fingers, circle them, circle your toes a little bit, your ankles. Gently roll over to your right side. And 
find your way back to a seated position. Nice and easy, whatever's comfortable to, to your legs so that you, again, you're really nice and lifted up nice and long. Um, just feeling the energy out the top of your head, right? So we're just hanging here. We're just hanging out here. Easy chin. Nothing's having to work too hard. Inhaling in, exhaling out. And just um, notice for a moment, just do a, a quick check and see where your energy's at. What do you feel a little more of, a little less of? Hopefully you're still breathing. Hopefully we feel a little more spaciousness, right? To build up our ability to respond so that we're a little more resilient. We have that little more space that we allow ourselves here. Okay. Inhaling in and exhaling out. Put your hands on your heart heart is, feel your heart beating. So this year has been in so many ways about trying to breathe, right? Trying to have an expansive breath. I know in my, my COVID body, what it taught me was about uh, really that the turtle wins a race how to be really gentle and really to tune in and just take my time. We'll get there. We just might need a little assistance at times. So the more generous we could be with ourselves and each other, the bigger our sphere, right? More responsive. Okay, one last breath. Inhale it in, exhale. I mean, not last breath, but you know what I'm saying, together. So um, before we totally close out, right, we're at that point, um, I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to, um, I think we just have a couple of slides we're going to show you. So while you're here, just stay with us through the end. Our next um, activity is at 1 o'clock Central, 11 Pacific and two Eastern time. It's the mentorship conversation moderated by Alexandra Meda. And we hope you can maybe get some nourishment in between this and the next thing and um, join us again. All right, in the meantime, uh, we're gonna do a little song. And uh, this song um, I learned recently of a new group called the Resistance Revival Chorus. They're a non-binary group um, that have this great song. It's sung, if you all know that the tune, um, This Little Light of Mine, uh, it's, it's on that order. And um, the chorus goes like this. Uh, this joy of mine, the world didn't give it to me. This joy of mine, the world didn't give it to me. This joy of mine, world didn't give it to me. World didn't give it, world can't take it away. So here we go. This joy of mine, world didn't give it to me. Oh, this joy of mine, the world didn't give it to me. Oh, oh, oh. this joy of mine, world didn't give it to me. The world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. We wish you well. Thank you for being here today. 
I hope you continue to thrive and hold steady. Thank you. Deep gratitude.